hello everyone sonny victor here welcome back again to my youtube channel in today's video i'll be showing you how you can invest 100 dollars to 1000 dollars in the cryptocurrency market so but before i proceed with this video i'd like you to do me a very big favor by tapping the subscribe button to subscribe to my youtube channel if you're yet to subscribe and also tap the bell button to get notifications anytime i upload new videos also don't forget to like comment and share this video to the entire network so now let's dive in let's dig in and let's go straight to the business of the day so now how do you invest under the last to one thousand dollars in the cryptocurrency market first you need an exchange site a crypto exchange site where you can uh trade cryptocurrency where you can buy cryptocurrency and i would strongly recommend binance okay i'm actually on the binance app right now this is the binance app you can uh go to the website or download the app on your mobile phone you can download it on play store or apple store and uh, for you to uh open a binance account you are going to see the binance registration link in the description box so just click on the link to create a binance account so once you create the account you can just log in via the app on your mobile phone after you must have downloaded and installed it so now i want you guys to know that if you want to invest into uh cryptocurrency you can decide to uh invest long term or short term okay now what do i mean by long term long term you can decide to just buy the cryptocurrency just store it save it or keep it in your wallet for like three six eight months or a year or two years uh, depending on how you want it okay so that's the long term aspect in fact when we talk about long term we're talking about a year plus okay so and the short term aspect you can decide to do day trade while buying once you buy a cryptocurrency and you see that the price has increased you can just decide to sell it the next day or the following day okay without wasting time and once you sell it at high price you can just decide to buy another buy it again or buy another cryptocurrency that the price is low and once that price of that coin increase you sell again like that so now before you buy any cryptocurrency i want you to take note of something very important especially if you're a beginner if you're just getting started okay for you to buy any crypto currency in the market i will strongly recommend you check out the first 10 cryptocurrency okay and if you are buying cryptocurrency you make sure you buy uh from one of these first 10 cryptocurrency or one of the first 20 okay so to check out the uh uh, the the first 10 cryptocurrency you can go to coinmarketcap.com here's the website so you open your browser go to coinmarketcap.com and you are going to see the uh the cryptocurrencies their number on the list okay so as you can see right here the first cryptocurrency okay is bitcoin it's actually the first cryptocurrency that, that was uh the first cryptocurrency in existence okay so after bitcoin that's when other cryptocurrencies were actually being created so now this list okay that you're actually seeing right here okay it actually depends on the market uh, volume of each cryptocurrency bitcoin actually has 35 billion dollars volume okay ethereum has 14 billion dollars volume so this volume actually determines the 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 uh the price of these coins and also apart from the price the their position okay their position on the list their position on the list in the market so the if you're buying cryptocurrency as a beginner start with the first 10 cryptocurrency 
a good reason why the day is made by the first 10 cryptocurrencies. I strongly re recommend the first 10 because the reason you say if you buy a cryptocurrency, okay, anyhow, you you are actually going to regret it if you just buy because there are a lot of cryptocurrencies in the market, thousands of cryptocurrencies in the market. Okay, you can actually check this coin market cap you are going to discover a lot of cryptocurrency these are the first 100 cryptocurrency okay but as a beginner i'm saying it again start with the first 10 or first 20 but i strongly recommend the first 10 because there's no way you are going to buy any of this first 10 and lose money even if the price drops goes down if you wait if you relax okay you are going to make back your money with profit because you only lose when you sell these coins the price will still bounce back it will still go up because now cryptocurrency is actually an alternative cryptocurrency but this is the feature of currency okay and with time the whole world will start using cryptocurrency and this cryptocurrency you are seeing right here on this list this first 10 cryptocurrency these are these are currency that you know has been existence for more than uh two years even some uh, have been existence for like more than five years now okay now let's talk about bitcoin bitcoin has actually been in existence for more than 10 years now since 2009 okay and it's still doing well the coin is still doing well so to always check the position of any coin okay in the market just go to this coin market cap and check the position so you know which one to buy you can check their their market cap you can check their volume okay they are circulating supply okay for Bitcoin, the circulating supply for Bitcoin is 18,538,368 BTC. That is what is circulating right now. So for Ethereum, the circulating supply of Ethereum is 113,409,822 Ethereum. That's what is circulating right now. So you can check orders yourself. So now I will strongly recommend you okay to use binance okay to start your cryptocurrency investment so with binance you can buy your cryptocurrency there are actually a lot of exchange sites but the reason why i'm recommending binance is binance is the best cryptocurrency exchange in the world right now and it's global so you can make use of it uh anywhere and at any time so if you're in ghana if you're in china if you're in algeria if you're in usa canada australia you can buy and sell your cryptocurrency on binance so you can use binance to start investing into cryptocurrency so right now i'm going to show you my binance spot trading account i have 15 dollars here i'm actually going to deposit uh some amount of dollars here so to deposit okay let me start again to deposit all you just have to do is to click on wallet and you click on deposit okay so you search you search or you you search for the currency you want to deposit okay for me i want to deposit ethereum because i have ethereum let's assume i don't have any cryptocurrency to deposit at all i can just click on fiat okay and select my country currency which is naira and deposit my country currency so but i want to deposit a crypto ethereum so and that reminds me in case you are looking for an opportunity to accumulate cryptocurrency okay just feel free to contact me you see my whatsapp uh number in the description box okay so contact me i'll show you an opportunity to accumulate cryptocurrency like tron coin okay so 
I'm going to click on copy address here now and I will transfer I'll send some ethereum to my Binance wallet so as you can see I just copied my Binance ethereum wallet address so I'm going to click send here I'll paste the Binance wallet address then I'm going to click uh, max okay i'm sending everything so i'll click continue so now this ethereum that i'm sending to binance now i can decide to use the ethereum to buy other cryptocurrency all i just have to do is to sell it on binance exchange it to any cryptocurrency that i want okay so if you if you click home okay if you click home right here you have the opportunity to search for the cryptocurrency you want to buy or sell so for ethereum as, as you can see i just searched for ethereum so we have bnb slash eth so i can decide to search to sell my ethereum to get bnb to get binance coin okay so but the ethereum i deposited i think it's yet to reflect but it's going to reflect shortly so it's going to reflect very soon okay so and once it reflects i can use it to buy any coin and once i buy the coin it's up to me to decide if i'm going to keep the coin okay the coin that i'm buying for a long time or sell it whenever the price increase okay so to invest into cryptocurrency it's very simple and straightforward you don't actually need to give anyone uh, money to do it for you you can do it yourself all you need to do is to check the description box you are going to see the Binance uh, link to create an account once you create an account make sure you verify your Binance account so you can go to if you are using the app you click the avatar right here okay or you go to profile you make sure you verify your account okay so as you can see my account is verified and for you to verify your account what do you need you actually need your id card you can use your uh your international passports your driver's license or whatever valid id card you have you can use it to uh verify your account and once you verify your account you can do a lot of things on the binance uh, this thing what's it called Binance website or hub so you'll be able to withdraw deposit at any fucking freaking time so that does it guys to invest it's simple and straightforward if you're just getting started as a beginner make sure you start with the first 10 cryptocurrency you can see the list I showed you and take note the coins positions it's based on your volume okay the volume so if you're getting started i'm saying it again start with the first 10 cryptocurrency because early this year okay i actually bought a coin a shit coin that coin i regretted buying that coin so i don't want you to regret as well that's why i keep saying it if you're getting started if you are a beginner start with the first 10 cryptocurrency so that just it guys i really hope you found this video helpful if so make sure you like comment and share i'll see you guys in the next video until next time peace out